Ali. Oh, hi. Yes, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Um, the, first of all, I don't know whether you hear me. Should I mute YouTube here? Yes, I mute YouTube, please. I'll mute YouTube two seconds. <laughs> but how come you're talking to me and you're still working on YouTube? I can do are, that. Because am my, I live? Am I yes, live? Yes, you are live, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I don't want to talk to you first. I want to talk to the audience first. Hmm. Why? Uh, because there's something I need to say to the audience and then they will talk to you. Audience, what Christian Prince does here is, is he sets up everything, he gets all his material ready and he comes up here and he talks to people on, on screen, on live, where he can put up all the material, whereas the caller whom would be me or like the guy who just went through cannot even put anything on, on, on the screen. So it is not fair. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, why you didn't give me what you want me to put in the screen so we can love? Go no, ahead. I don't have to give you. I no, you to have to. So people. how, how I'm going you. to put for you? This is how YouTube works. No, how no, I can I, do it? I do not trust No, listen, you listen. You are being, you are being funny you. now. Listen, listen. listen. You are I am not like the other callers who would let you take You over. are being I funny. Attacked. I don't care. Ooh. Just get lost. You are no one. You complain, but yet you will not give me something to put for you in the screen. That means you are a fake and you are phony. Give me something you want me to put in the screen and I will put it for you. So what do you want me to go and do? Go to your, to your computer and grab what you have in your computer. How you can share with me what you have. You give me, I will share it. If you have something you want me to show in the screen, I will be more than happy to show it to you. But you don't, I don't have to give you. So why are you complaining? <laughs> this is, this is a bankruptcy. Give me a link. I will open it. And guys, how many times Muslims, they gave me links and I put it in the screen. You are my witness. My videos are all over. Give me a link. I will open it. I will put it in the screen. And you can read the same as I'm reading. And by the way, I don't have material reading. What do you mean ready? Whatever the conversation takes us, we open reference right in the spot. Does it sound like I had them ready? I search for them in the front of everybody in the screen. It's really in my head, my friend. For you, because you do not know what are you talking about, you need to be ready. For me, it's not. The stupidity is a sign of a bankruptcy. Let us play stupid. Hey, audience, Christian Prince, he have his material ready. Okay, why you are calling me if you are not ready anyway? Let us say you want to answer this guy. What about you get your material ready? And give me the links and I will show the people everybody so we can laugh together. It's like saying Christian Prince is beating the hell of us because he's ready and we are not. I will not let you take over the conversation. What do you mean? If you just said to me, you will not give me a reference. So why you are calling me? Just to talk and to insult me? You want to call me again, Ali, call me. But you have to give us answers. You want me to give you a link? You want to post a link? I will show it on the screen. You are more than welcome. But you stop complaining like a woman in the delivery room. And then the doctor, after six hours, he found that she is not a breath net. She have gas. And this is exactly your scenario. You have gas, my friend. You have nothing real. You don't even have a baby. Your belly is big because of too much gas. You cannot take it no more. Christian Prince is beating the hell of our cult. And we cannot refute him. So you decide to call us and you decide to release your gas on air. Yes, Ali. Yes, I'm back to you. So uh, do you have something uh, serious to say or just complaining? I have something serious to say. I want hmm. to follow you. But right. it, it seems that you are playing something and I'm talking to you on somewhere else. Well, you are. You see, at first you disrespect me. You said I want to speak to the audience. Here we go. Speak to me too. Why you don't speak only to the audience? Okay. Now, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. What do you think about oh. the topic we are talking about? <clears throat> oh, okay. Let's let's follow. Okay. The topic is let's just follow from what you are now, where, where you are now. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So 
you said, and the, the screen I am looking at, and he taught Adam the names, then showed them to the angels, saying, inform me of the names of those if ye are truthful. Hmm. Is, are, you, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, so... Uh, the truthful in here, it does not mean lying. It just means if you knew. And then can you scroll down to the next verse, 32? Okay. Can you scroll down? All right. All right. Read. All right. Two seconds. Um, my... So 32, they said, be glorified you, Qalu subhanaka rabbana, we have no knowledge saying that which thou hast taught us, thou only you art knower the wise. Hmm. So there, there's not much to be said in here. Go on to verse 33. Can we stop a second here? Is that okay? Oh yeah, okay. please go ahead. Does it say go here, ahead. we know nothing except what you taught us and you agree yes. with that? Okay. So how the yeah. angels, they say that he is going to do mischievement and he would do bloodshed as we see in this oh, verse. The angels hmm. were, were talking about the previous creation of Allah on earth, which were the jinn and khen and bin whom actually were killing and dying. And that is actually exactly what human beings are doing right now on earth. Hold on. It is shed, shedding blood. Hmm. You're saying, you are saying that this is the previous, which is the jinn. That's very funny because, uh, and, and, hold on, hold on, hold on. As you see here, it says, and when the Lord said unto the angels, I am about, I am about, he did not do it yet. All right. Yeah. So what previous you are talking about? Hello. He's about to create human being. Hmm. We're talking the previous creation that was on earth that shed blood. Okay, do you have any reference for the previous who they shed the blood on earth? The, hello, the jinn. Do you jinn have, was a, do you have reference? Do you have reference? Hold on. Do you have reference, my friend? That do the I jinn, have one? Okay, according to Islam, do you have reference that the jinn were in earth already and they were shedding blood? Yes, I can find you one. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. The, uh -huh. You see, because I cannot show your screen. No, no, I can so uh, give me the link. I, I will no, show it on the it, screen. No problem. Give me your link. No, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right away. Hmm. And uh, once I find it, hmm. I'll send it to you. But while we're talking, it is exactly the description of what um hmm. about about the, the malaika the the where am i on that the malaika described exactly that what human being would do hmm. um if they were put on on earth as khalifa hmm. so the malaika described exactly as what they would do correct yes sir and, and was the malaika right or wrong they were right because they <laughs> being just like you and see, see hold on people, hold on you just said shit. You just Hold said on. you just said they are right. So why Allah saying to them if you are a truthful? <laughs> truthful does not mean here that you were lying. It, okay, my truthful, friend. What stop there. Don't. What if don't, what if we don't. show what if we show the interpretation? What interpretation no, no, would you like no. me to show you? Let me before you get to that, or you can get to that while I'm talking mm. to the audience. Mm. You see, audience <laughs> is saying if you are truthful, if you know everything. Mm. So Allah has taught Adam the names of everything of his creation of course and he asks them would you be able to tell me this they said no oh allah glorified be you we don't know except what you taught us hmm. so adam did say that that is only to say and to show that the um that allah in his great wisdom and knowledge knows what human being what adam and his descendants are going to do on earth okay let's go back to zero hold on you just said you just said that Allah he told the names to Adam and that proved that he knows everything. How silly is that? I will call that, that's my not silly no, let me let me answer 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 hello I'm listen, giving I'm listen, giving you your listen. time I'm giving you your time please respect respect can, don't can make me hang be, up on you you see I give you be, I give you time I give you time hey 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 
okay. Please respect. I give you time. Please. No, Come no, on. no, no. no listen. I'm, I'm not asking about okay. anything. Okay. So listen. Oh, listen. Let me manners? let me say my statement. So if I call my computer Juju and I ask you what the name of my computer, that, you say I do not know. Silly, that to prove I am that's God. A silly example. A silly example. You are giving a flipping silly example, sir. Give a real example. It says here in front of you that he taught it's Adam ridiculous. all the names. Hold on. He taught Adam all the names, all the names, all the names. So, okay, tell me what the names he taught Adam. And what, well, and, he taught and, him. Stop talking then. Okay. It's my turn to talk. Mm -hmm. Stop talking. All right. Allah taught Adam the names of his creation mm. in order to show that the, 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 the angel could not have known the future. Mm. So, this is what happened. Mm. What happened to the video? So uh, I will go with you. By Allah te teaching Adam the names of his creation, that hold on, prove. I... Hold on, that prove that he is God. Well, I can taught. I can taught. Then I can taught anyone names I created because this is a name he created too. What about we do with the opposite? What about I say to the angels, go and name things, anything you want, name it, and don't tell me the names. And come to me and ask me what the names and I will tell you because I know the unseen but I that's am the one I am the one who named the things and then I asked you that's this is a silly from your God you same, same time hold on you are, hold on you such same, a, you're same, such, a, you're such a, a, a failure that you can't even give a, a proper example you can't even bring a proper example you are the one who could not give me proper example I asked you he told I, them I all the names you. he told no, them no, only the no. names he taught all the names and by the way, this is a verse he stole from the Old Testament. God, he taught Adam all the names, but we don't see this as a stupid story in the Bible. But now here you see, look what happened. He taught them the names to Adam to maybe, prove what? To prove, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stupid, oh, oh, your stupid Bible. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. So you see yeah. here that Allah, he taught the names to prove what? To prove that he know and they know not. But you agreed that the answer, they were right. And you said, no. You said you said that no. it, 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 hold that, on look, hold on you, you say you say they are talking question. about the it's previous a creation it's a question it's a good question stop let me uh, Abdul, you. Abdul, Abdul, listen you are the one no, no, who no, said no, you Ali, are you Ali, are the Ali, one who Ali. said that they are shading the blood previously what listen. a blood what is a creature have a blood uh, listen what is listen, the creature uh, hold on what is the creature who has a blood previously before no. Adam Look, don't jump from one. I'm not jumping. You are the one who Please mentioned that. You stop. said you said they are can here you, talking about the creature who will shed the blood who has exist before Adam. Who is you, who is the creature? You, who is the creature who has a blood? Do you have any control over yourself? Can you stop? You will not can answer. You are, okay. are you going to answer? Can you stop? I am actually going to answer. But okay, can go you ahead. Stop? Go ahead. Okay. First of all, you have a failure in giving examples. I do not have to go anywhere. I'm showing you that Allah has given example to the angels is telling them that if human being, if Adam is taught <coughs> something, then he will do it. An example of it is the religion. Once he is given a religion, then he will raise from the level of, um, of human to the level of angels. That exactly what <laughs> happened in the previous scriptures and exactly when people actually left the worship of, uh, I don't know, like stones and rocks and stuff like that. So here is Adam showing an example of education of Allah on him. And then he, pre he showed that, yes, I can actually do something. Though I am created from dirt, I can do the command of Allah. Then next thing you are going to actually jump into. Can you give us that the previous uh, creation had blood? Does it have to be blood? It is a metaphor for the what you were not able to. Um, the word you could you could not say, which is mischief. Mischief is actually anything that goes against the rule and the law of Allah. Your are you lying? Mike is your okay. Listen. Mike, Listen what like you just said. You just said you said yes. that it's a blood, but it's metaphor. That's that's very silly because it is no, no, it's no, not no, silly, sir. Because it's no, you, no, 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 no. Okay, I okay. Let, let, let us do this. Let us do this. Let us do this. Let us do this. Please, uh, we have thousands of Islamic interpretation. Name for me. It says that this is metaphor. 
Who is the scholar who agree with you? Who is the scholar who agree with you that this is a metaphor? Can you name one? It is my, it is my word that I use. Did I say that uh, Islamic uh, scholars are saying this? So you are, a, say, so you are a unique it? Muslim. You are a unique Muslim who have a unique I am, understanding. I am Ali. This is who I... It is me talking so, to you. No, sir. no, no. We are debating about Islam, not about individual. He believes in something. Debate. We're not debating, sir. What are you talking no. about? This is not a debate. Listen, listen this it is another debate. Setup. This is a spanking. This is, this is a spanking. This, this is a spanking. This. Yes, you have to prove to me that this is a metaphor, metaphor, and this is a lie if you cannot prove it. Secondly, when he or the that? angels, this. hold on. You gave me the mic, right? You gave me the mic. Fine. You said give you a mic. Okay, listen. Now you said to me that there was a previous creature who was exist in the earth shed in blood and we ask you the blood of who you said this is a metaphor so this is mean it's a lie because all what they complain no. about is he no. would do mischievement and she she shed the blood and let me ask you all then right. did the children of adam shed the blood yes no, they did, I did, not, I did hold not on shut up shut up hold on 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 potato potato hold on hold on in my mouth you have to prove which could be which you could do include anything so stop no 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 it can not be include in anything mind. it cannot be included because it says they are shed of blood it's not up to you to deny it you have to show me where it says that this is metaphorical as otherwise you are corrupting your Quran as long no, as it I'm says shed of blood this is as long as it says shed of blood he do not need to why, why they added the word shed of blood if, if there's no shed of blood so it says no. shed of blood show me that this is metaphorical and I asked you the if there is any of, if there is any of blood of human sir do you do you understand that shed the blood of a human correct Yes, yes. Okay. Who is the human was created before Adam? No, sir. There were you missing the point. Mm. It is the the blood of human beings that will be shed on earth. The previous nations mm. actually did the same thing. They were in wars and they killed each other. The blood here is referring to Adam and his okay. in, and his descendants. Thank you very much. So now we agree that this is about shedding blood of a human. That's wonderful. Before you said it's a metaphorical. Now it's not. So look at what oh, happened. No, no, you, you're not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm listening. No, listen, listen, no, listen, listen, listen. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Listen, listen. So now you what we have. We have words, the angels the angels you, you what, were they right hold on was I the, ang was the angels was the audience, angels right audience, don't force audience, me to hang up on you. you to be witnesses audience don't force me to hang up on you he's putting words in my mouth i don't know you are the one who said the human being you said the blood of a human being you said this is the blood of a human being of adam Adam and his children. And yes, his thank you very much. So now they said to him, are you going to create someone that will, will shed the human blood? So he's talking about who? Adam and his children. And you agree with that? So the angels, yes. how they knew? How the angels, they knew that he will do that? And how Allah, he said to them, if you are truthful, so here the accusation is stupid. The truthful. Because, no, you're, because you're, he said to them, hold on, things. let me talk, let me talk. We can't talk in the same time. So he no. said to them, if you are truthful about what? As a response to what they say, that he will shed the blood. And they would do achievement, correct? Uh, yes, yeah, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. I'm, okay. I'm actually working That's on something. That's wonderful. Okay, so it. now we agree, guys, that he said, the angels, they said, he would do achievement and he would shed the blood. Allah, he said, as a respond, I will taught Adam all the names and then tell me the names if you know, if you are truthful. So truthful about what? The only statement they said, he will shed, shed the blood. So Allah does agree with them and they are not being truthful in this case. But as all we right. know, as we well, know, the angels, they are right. And Allah take was wrong. Break, take a break and let me answer. Don't give me, <laughs> don't give me a newspaper and then you want me to answer to it. Go ahead, I go need, ahead. We need to go point by point. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, don't don't laugh. Don't be silly. You need to be respectful. <laughs> so here's what's happening. Hmm. Allah talking to the angels, telling them hmm. that you cannot know or predict what this man is going to do in the future and mm. here is an example i'm going to teach him mm. something and he will actually name it to you and that only goes to be applied on the life of human being later whom will be given the religion will be given books will be given men to actually call them to, to the way of allah or God, Elohim, Yahweh, whoever you want to call him. That is the example that is being given to the angel uh, concerning Adam. <coughs> the angels are talking about uh, the mischief that has been created by previous creation on earth and, of course, the human being whom we shed blood. 
that is talking to people to get them to understand that human being actually people kill people go ahead mike is yours guys look at this how funny it is he just yeah. said that adam and his uh, uh, offspring they will shed the blood and the angels this is the accusation to adam and his uh, mm -hmm. uh, seeds and then he says allah he said to them that I will teach Adam all the names and that's supposed to be about teaching all the knowledge. We don't care about this. What we care about that the angels, they did not make a false accusation. They are right. And you agreed. Yes, Adam and his uh, uh, children after that, they shed the blood. So when Allah, he said to them, if you are truthful, it was a response for them accusing Adam who will spill the blood. So you, your God is a phony God. He do not know what he's talking about. Uh, secondly, I am asking you now in front of everybody, how mm -hmm. they knew that Adam will shed the blood. Okay, then stop there. Hmm. Are you going to stop? Go ahead. First of all, you need to be more civilized and stop insulting people's beliefs and God. That's one thing. You need to be at least show some respect to your I audience. Don't, I don't respect. Le I don't respect your religion, and you know that your prophet is a child molester. How I can uh, you know, how I can respect him? That's because you have no manners. You have no. What you kind are of not what kind a of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? He has a manner. He says you're a prophet. He has a you're a prophet. He has a manner when he said you're a prophet. He has a manner. Shut up. You're a prophet. He has a manner when he says kill the Christians and rape the women. That is not true, sir. That's another lie. This is the true. Lies. Here we go. Do you want to show you right now in the screen? Oh, do I? Go okay, ahead. here yes. we go. Here we go. This sure. is a chapter 9, verse number 29, and this is your scholar Ibn Kathir, the interpretation, as you see. No, show me, show no, me don't, the verse. Don't show me. I will me show you the Quran anybody. and the interpretation. Show me, so no, show I, me the verse. Yes, show me the I'm verse. showing you the verse, and I will get you busted from your own books. You are a liar yeah. like your prophet. Read with me. You are, read you with, read with like me. Your read God. with me. Until they pay the jizya, and they do not, because they didn't choose to embrace Islam. Shut up. Shut up. Let me read. You will not let me read, right? Call me after I finish reading. Watch YouTube. Until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam with willing and submission and defeat, continue disgraced, humiliated, beetled. Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims, for they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. And then he says, The Prophet, he said, Don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians if you meet them in the most narrow alley, which means you force them to, you have to force them to the sewage. Don't call me yet. Don't call me Abdul. Let me read. Let me read. And then this is why the leader of the faithful, Umar al-Khattab, may Allah be with him, demanded the will of the condition to meet with the Christians to ensure to ensure their continued humiliation. Uh, do you see it? So why you are lying to me and saying this is not true? Killing us, taking our houses, taking our cities, taking our countries, and then taking our money, and then force us to pay money in order to live. Answer. Do you have an answer? What? What? Are you, so you are on here and you're talking in there live. Live. <laughs> How can you be talking to me now and be live and you're still talking in there? Because you cannot. You will not let me read. I wanted to read for you and oh, you cannot stop oh talking. God. Oh my God! Yes, oh my, oh my God. God! I can't believe it. You, you, such a, such a low life man. You are, you, you are a such, you it. are a such a genie in the bottle. And now I spank you. Now answer. How in I, the world you say to me, your prophet, he did not order to kill us and humiliate so, us and take our money and our property, and I get you busted. Verse, in the, it's in the front verse, of you. Show the verse. Show me the verse. Chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine. Where is it? Show me. It's in the front screen. of you. Here I we not, go. You speak Arabic. Screen. You speak Arabic. You you coward. You know you don't. You do not need to read the English one. Read it. You are the coward. Here we go. You're it's the, in the front of you. The read it. I show me. Where is it? It's in the front it's of you. Me. It's in the front of you. It's not. It's not. It is. It is. It is. I can't see it. I am looking at it now, it's, and I can't see it. Says, it says. It says in the front of you. Qatilu ladina la yuminul billah. Read it. I can't see it. It's not on the screen. It's okay. not on my no problem. Screen, read it from your screen. What's wrong with you? Read it from your screen. It's no problem. I have it in my screen. You cannot okay. see it. It's your business. Uh, uh, now, look, there is some movement on the thing. I can see it. How come I'm not live? How come there's something else in there? You are live. Everybody okay, can see right. it. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. <clears throat> I just need to mute the uh, YouTube. All right. Go okay. ahead. 
So, قاتلوا الذين لا لا يؤمنون بالله ولا باليوم الآخر ولا يحرمون ما حرم الله ورسوله ولا يدينون بدين الحق من الذين أوتوا الكتاب. Then, then. The verse is not. And then continue. حتى يعطوا الجزية عن يد وهم صايرون. You know, show me. What, 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 what are you talking about? Are you telling me you do not know the verse? Okay. No. What? Say that again. How are you saying you do not know the verse? You never heard it before. I know the I, I so memorize Quran know when I was heart. a kid. Okay, okay. I, I, I know it by heart. You don't know it by heart. Okay. okay. Hey, it's in front of you. Read it. No, I, no, no. I want the audience to see it, mm. sir. So now show them the English. It is shown in the front of you. Here we go. The English and the Arabic. I I, I only see the bit of Arabic. Oh, now it's moving. There's some mm. movement. Mm. Can you go back to the translation of the verse, please? It's in the front of you. Until Slowly. they pay the jizya with willing Slowly. to submission. Here no, we no. go. No, stop that. Hmm. We're talking about Qatilu uh, first. Go hmm. back up about fight. Okay. Hmm. Go a little bit back up, hmm. please. Hmm. Please, thank you. Hmm. It is a little bit slow on my on the on the on the live here. So hmm. take your time slowly, slowly. It's not moving. It is stuck at Hatayotul Jizyata. My friend, you can read your own screen. Stop complaining. No, no, I. Would you would you please just have some patience, please? Mm. I, I can see you. How come you are highlighting? Okay, slowly. Stop there. Stop there. <laughs> stop there. Okay, stop there. Let me read now. Read, read. Okay. Mm. Okay. So find fight against those who believe not in Allah. Okay. What is happening in here? Mm. He's not go, he's not saying go and invade them and kill them like Joshua was doing in the book uh, in the book of Joshua, mm -hmm. who's going around and around killing people mm. and destroying everyone. He's mm. saying fight against those who do not believe in Allah. And we all know from the history of Islam mm. that when Islam started, they were only a small fraction and then were being invaded by thousands and thousands of non uh, of the pagan of uh, Quraysh at the time. So fight them back. Those who do not believe in Allah and the last day, of course, anyone, the disbelievers, if you go into the Old Testament, Stop you being see... stupid. You, you see, I have my patience with you. First of all, this is not about Quraysh, you liar. This is about fighting sir. the Christians and the Jews specifically. You, now, no, no, shut up, sir. Shut up. No, it's in the front of you. you. It's in the you, front of you. It says it from the people the, of the scriptures. The, 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 it's in the, the front of you from the people of the scriptures, donkey. No, oh, you're the donkey, sir. Read it then. So Does it say? Some, Does it say the people of the book? Does it say you donkey liar? Does no. it say the people of the book? Yes or no? No, stop. Before you get to that, that is to uh, that is a second point. No, the this is not the second point. This is not the second point. Those stop who don't right acknowledge he is stop. talking. This is a verse specifically about the Christians and the Jews. And read with me. Here we go. Oh, Allah oh. commanded, shut up, you donkey son of Muta. Allah commanded you are, his you messenger, are the, you are the son shut of up, Muta. son of Muta. Here I get you busted. You can call me after two minutes. Allah commanded his messenger to fight the people of the scriptures, the Jews and the Christians. Filthy liar. I spit at the devil. And now you can clean your face. Liar like your prophet. Coward. We show them the reference in the front of them in the screen. And this is their books. And this is their scholars. And this is their interpretation. And yet they have the courage to lie. What invade? He is the one who invade. Muhammad, he said to his followers, attack the Romans so we can get the blondie girls. Do you want me to show you the reference? To get what? The blondie girls. A prophet of God encouraging his followers to attack to get the blondie girls. Now, does it say in yep. front of you, yep. The Christians would and you, the Jews. Does it, stop talking. does it say you were you were you were talking when you blocked me? Why don't you stop now? And let me talk. Go ahead. Yes, sir. First of all, you are the son of Muta. I know my father and I know my mother and I know them very well. I grew. Do up Muhammad with know them. his father? You are you. Do Muhammad uh, know his father? That is. Look, you need to wash your mouth when you talk. Do about Muhammad, Muhammad know his father? Is it true you, that your father? Hold on, wash, hold on. Let us see who son of Muta. Shut up. Wash, is it true wash, that your prophet he wash. was born four years after his father's death? Yes, or I'm lying. 
Wash your mouth. You are lying. You have to answer. Mouth. You have to. If I show you reference right now, you coward. No, 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 no. You coward. See, no. here we go. You see, when you open a topic, either you finish it or you don't continue. Your prophet was born four years after his father's death. In your Islamic books, you coward. He is a son of a muta, and you are a son of muta because in Islam there is no marriage, and <laughs> and as long. You are ashamed of Muta. What kind of God he allowed Muta? Let us call him back. He just admitted that Muta is bad. Answer, Abdul. Answer. <laughs> Why you don't want to answer? Hmm? You are ashamed of the Muta? As long you are calling me son of Muta, that means it is a shame to be son of Muta. And you just admitted that you do not the one who have a Muta, he don't know who is his father. So what kind of God he allowed Muta? What kind of a cult he allowed a man and a woman to have sex just for pleasure? Muta. Read and love. That's why he is not calling now. Call me coward. As long you admit that muta is a shame And you are calling me son of muta which means this is an insult What kind of God he taught his followers to do muta Yes muta boy Yes, Mutabu, you are the Mutabu boy, sir. You are the. Well, here we go in the front of us. Never, did your look, prophet? Look, did look, your listen. prophet allow Muslim women and men to have sex for three days, three nights for fun? You are such a liar. Where do you get all that from? It's in the front of you. It's in the front. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you in the screen. Why? No, it's not in front of me. It's in the front of you in the screen. Read it. Think you are such a liar. Read it. Read it. Potato. Read it. You. We were talking. Okay, hold on. You are just calling me to call me names and make me scream. I'm not going to scream. It's in the front of you in screen. You have to read it. You are a coward. You believe it? We are showing it in the screen, and he said to me, I am a liar. Read it and call me, and so we can laugh together. You are really, really being humiliated by your prophet, not by me. I am lying. So what we have in the screen? People in the, in the chat, do you see it in the screen or no? Did you see it in the screen? Oh, wait a minute. I do not see anything on the screen. It is still there. Refresh, there. refresh your okay. No, they, they get get lost. Refresh your page and call me back. <laughs> this is not an excuse, and there is no way. Everybody can see it. Refresh your page. <coughs> and the funny, this is even Quran. The muta is a Quranic verse, not only a hadith. And as long he is calling me son of Muta, that's mean he admitted that Muta is a shame and it is nothing but adultery and prostitution. Otherwise, you will not consider calling somebody Muta as an insult unless it's an insult. I call you son of Muta, you get insulted. Do you see it now? I see. The hadith Salim bin Al Aqwa said, Allah is supposed to say, it, if a man and a woman agree, is this what you want me to read? Yes, go ahead. No, we were talking about, you said that our beloved prophet was born four years after his father. Show me that, please. What about this now? Let us finish this one. No, what is the, no you what see, is you see, the, let me show you how coward you are. When I say no, to you, you when, are, when, you I, when I say to you, don't, when I say to you, your prophet ever, was born four you. years. Now you want to change the topic. Let us finish this one, and we will go to your prophet was born four years after his his, uh, his father. Now answer. Is, you are the one who me? insulted me, and you said to me you are upset because I told you you are son of Muta, correct? Because this is an insult. Do you agree? Oh my God! Do you agree that, that Muta is an insult? You, calling someone like that 
in a discussion like this mm. is so low you're so cheap okay why is so and cheap why, why is so cheap if i call you son of muta is is muta is muta is is, is muta a shame is a muta is a shame is a shame is it muta is it a shame let me answer you mm. stop talking mm. and listen stop talking mm. you come from the middle east and the middle east there are shias who practice the the, the nikah sort of nikah or some sort of marriage called muta where the man marries the woman for a day or two or mm. whatever mm. and with with an agreement mm. therefore if there is a, ch a child born he would not know his father so to me that is an insult because i know my father and i know my mother okay that's wonderful so you just admitted so, so you, you, you just admitted you, okay, hold on hold on hold on let me answer let me answer everybody heard you that if you no. do muta if you do muta you will not know your father thank you very much so why your prophet approve it our, my, our prophet did not approve it. It's in the front Show of you. Read it. it it's in the front of you. Read it. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay. This is not. Right. This is stop. not Shia. You said to me Shia. This is a lie. Okay, then stop that, and mm. I let me read. Mm. So Allah's apostle said, if a man and a woman agree to marry temporarily, their marriage should last for three nights, and if they like to continue, they can do so. If they want to separate, they can do so. I do not know whether that was only for us or for all the people in general who is talking in here abdul read it says no, I am, I this am is about muta or see, not this is about muta or not this is the prophet it, it, the prophet talking and the narrator no, continue the prophet the said prophet talking. no this the prophet said, read no no read it says allah apostle said yeah. allah apostle said allah yes, apostle someone, said someone is saying okay. that allah's apostle said hmm. it's someone saying can yes. you read here can you read can okay. you read i do not know whether that was only for us or for the people in general would you doesn't matter please? this is the, this is the commentary no, about the hadith is, but hold on hold on did your prophet did, did your prophet says any man please. Any no. man, any woman, they like to have sexual well, relationship for any? one where night stand. It says where if a man and a woman, if a man and a woman, if a man and a woman, did, did he say, did he say a name? He said, if a man, any man, if a woman, if a woman, where is any? It says there, if a man, any man. Oh, <laughs> where is it? Where is, where are is you any? saying? Where are is you any? saying the muta was only for one person? Your prophet, he gave a license for somebody paid him money to do muta. Okay, okay, stop and let me talk to the audience. At least show respect to the audience. Audience, this hadith here, this is not even a hadith, it's someone talking saying that the apostle said shut up. All the hadith says the apostle said you donkey. All the hadith it says that the apostle said you are a certified donkey, son of a muta, and now we give you a higher certificate, you became a mule. It is not the apostle saying, it's somebody saying the apostle saying, all the hadith says, don't call me again, you donkey, coward, potato. You're just a kid. It's somebody saying, the prophet said, all the hadith saying that. In order to get the hadith saying, the prophet said, he have to be with us. As long as somebody is reporting from somebody, from somebody, from somebody, all of them, they have to be, the prophet said. And he's saying, this is not a hadith because somebody saying, the prophet said. <laughs> <laughs> and now look what we proved he is ashamed of the muta and he says this is shia the fact is even in the quran let us get this abdul busted is the muta only for the shia actually before we go to the quran you will see that even abu umar al khattab and all the caliphate they practice muta after even muhammad let us see Read the hadith with me, and all of them they are sahih. This is sahih Muslim. Potato. He said a hadith is not a hadith as long as it says somebody said. But as you see, all the hadith have to be somebody said. Somebody said that the prophet said, or somebody said. It says it's reported from 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 that etc. Okay, and then he says we had benefiting ourselves by the muta. By the way, it's it's not even marriage. This is not marriage. This is a lie. Muta means just muta means muta means sexual pleasure. So we had a, a benefit ourselves from doing muta during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and the Omar, which means Muhammad now is dead and the Caliphate, the Sunni Caliphate, not the Shia Caliphate. 
they are still practicing muta in during the time of Abu Bakr, during the time of Omar, and during the time of Muhammad. He is ashamed of his cult. Where it says that? And as you see, we keep jumping like monkeys from place to place, and he keep denying, but we show it in the screen. Audience, audience. <laughs> <laughs> now let us go let us go and see if this is really for the Shia and the Sunni or, 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 the, or the Sunni and the Shia as you see first actually we prove it already here in the Hadith because Abu Bakr is the enemy of the Shia he is a Sunni Omar is the biggest enemy of the Shia both of them the Shia they hate them to death actually the Shia did not even pray without cursing Omar and Abu Bakr and, and Aisha now if we go to the interpretation let us show you how we get them busted he said this is for the Shia the fact the Shia are the only true Muslims following still Quran based on this verse specifically this is the official government of the kingdom of Jordan owned by the king of Jordan this this is explained why he is very corrupt and uh, actually he is from the family of Muhammad this is why he is corrupt very much chapter 24 Interpretation of Ajalalain, not my interpretation. I have nothing to do with it. Read with me carefully. Ajalalain is not a Shia scholar, he's a Sunni. All right. Look what it says <clears throat> Seek women with your wealth by dowry or price of wedlock, and it's not for Nukating. Etc., such as wife enjoy thereby and have sexual intercourse with giving them their wages, dowries, but have assigned as an obligation. Okay, you give them their wages and you practice muta'a muta with them, and those women you can marry them and have sexual intercourse with them only for a certain period of time ibn abbas the cousin of the prophet sunni interpretation seeking women marrying women or for agreed period of time zawajul muta this is quran this is not hadith seeking women with your money marrying women for agreed time by the way it does not say even marrying women it says to if women for agreed period of time which means you go to the woman and you say to her i want to if you for a day or two as the hadith says any man any women they agree to if each other for a day or two it's up to them and if they like to increase they increase and who is the one is talking here it is Muhammad talking and the edit he says oh this is not the Prophet talking no it is the Prophet. all the hadith of Islam it's about somebody saying the Prophet saying and when you say because somebody saying the Prophet saying this is not a hadith that's mean you are a certified donkey literally stupid idiot now we go back here as you see this is not Shia this is Quran Quran is not the book of the Shia is not the book of the Sunni this is the book of Allah and in Arabic here the word muta we see it in the verse famous them taught on be he mean hunna be he which is their vagina whatever you enjoy of it of it what their vagina so this is why you have to pay them wages for you enjoy it this is why if you do muta in Islam or even normal marriage if you don't to have intercourse you don't pay because you did not enjoy it a Muslim money a Muslim man he have obligation to pay only only if he enjoy it if he did not enjoy it then he will not pay so the money when a Muslim he pay a woman in Islam is not because he married her but because he enjoy it as the verse in the Quran saying Because you enjoy it, then you have to pay for what you enjoy. 
women is a sex toys in Islam. Have you ever heard of such a stupid cult like this before? Hey, Ali, Ali, do you like to call me again? Call me, Ali. I finished my conversation. So we can love. I will call you. <laughs> Okay, Ali, don't answer. It's up to you. He's doing muta right now. He will call me after he finished muta. How this is can be even close to be a religion? A prophet, he is saying, any man, any woman. And look how funny he is. He says, where is the word any? In Arabic, actually, it says any. The prophet, oh. Oh. Hey, Abdul. My name is Ali. Okay, you it's said to me, you said to me before, is, where is the name's... word, where is the word any? Correct? Yeah. Okay, does it say in Arabic any? Show me the Arabic. I, I can't not see. I, I am at, uh, forbidden to you are wedded women. No, no, refresh, refresh your spouses. page. Refresh Here your page. It refresh, is. refresh, refresh, you're, refresh you're your talking about the Al refresh, your page, refresh your page. Refresh your page. Refresh it. No problem. I have, I have done that. Okay, it says, you, Ayuma, you, okay, until you see it, I will read for you in Arabic. Ayuma, Rajulin wa Imra. What Ayuma mean? Ayuma. Hmm. Ayuma, it means Any. if, if a man. No, 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 no. What I you mean? Don't uh, don't force me to get you busted. I can take the word as it is, no. put it in the dictionary in front of everybody. What no, I you mean? You see, what I you mean? What I you mean? Hold on, Abdul. Listen. Abdul, what I you mean? I can't oh, copy the word stop. right now stop. and paste stop. in the dictionary and get you busted. You said to me where it says any. I you stop mean? I you mean listen. any? Stop and listen. Mm. You see what you are saying here? If you translate word by word. Then it will give you what you're looking for. But the, the what a human mean? The word, what word by word? word? This is a human mean any? Yes or no? Oh, sir, you have to take the few. Shut up and Ooh. don't call me again, you coward potato. If we translate word by word, yes, there is any. So what we should translate? How we can delete the word any? He challenged me. Where is the word any? Because he did not see it in English. Where is any? It's in the front of you. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. I don't know if you will have a heart attack by the morning. You know, let us pray for Allah, brother, that He will save your heart and the tomorrow. And brother, uh, brother, let us ask Allah, brother, that brother save the heart of Ali from being having heart attack because he was getting busted left and right, brother. What's wrong with you? If you take it literally, yes, you find what you are looking for. With this what we are taking. This is a translation. It says, Ayuma Rajurin wa Imra'a. Any man, any woman. This is what it says. But the coward, he stuck with the where it says any, because in English it doesn't show in the translation. Where is the word any? But anyway, even there it says, if a man, any man, as long as a man, it means doesn't matter who, who, which one, any, any Muslim man, obviously. But no, 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 you need to show me the word any. I feel sorry for you, Ali. Really, I did not mean to spank you hard, but I, I, I hope you have Vaseline at home. Next, who is next? The brother, those are Shia brother. The Shia they do that there, brother. The Prophet was Shia. 
and the brother here it says that uh, Salama he said the brother this is not the prophet saying brother what do you mean it says Allah apostle said a brother this is not the hadith says the brother but somebody says the prophet said the brother with all the hadith says Allah the prophet said the brother is stupid even the Quran was collected from the Muslim not from the prophet which means somebody said this is the Quran which means the Quran at the end of the day is a hadith actually even the Quran report that this is the best of the hadith silly stupid and they are no match even to hide to say hello and the guy is so excited I want to talk to the audience audience Christian Prince is ready and we are not ready what ready here we go we are moving with you we say something we jump to different topic in a second same as we got you busted when you say that the Prophet did not order to kill the Christians and the Jews and not only that the coward Muhammad he swear that he is going to expel the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula this is why there was left zero Christians and Jews in Saudi Arabia until lately we have the oil discovered so the Saudi they cannot build their own country because they are Bedouin who do not know anything Is that uh, the prophet saying brother? Oh no, brother, it's not because somebody said the prophet said the brother. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> and as I agree with him, we are not debating here, brother. We are spanking. I never debated a Muslim. All of you are a bunch of kids. You think by lying you can get away with it. And this is why they hate me showing reference in the screen. They want me to show my face so no reference will be showed. And they can say he's lying. Where is the proof? So look what happened. We showed them the reference of everything, every single word we say, every statement we make. Yet still, they have, because they have no dignity, they deny what is in the front of them in the screen. What kind of a prophet? He say any man, any woman, they can F each other. This is not about marriage, by the way. The word marriage here does not exist. You see the word here between two brackets, marry? It's not exist. It says, Or which means you live together. There's no marriage. The word marriage never exists from the, the last from the first word to the last word in the hadith. Ishra, Ishra live together. Have fun. So if any man, any any woman, they like to sleep together, live together from you know a day to a night, and he said to us, he said to us that the muta, if you do muta, you do not know who is the father. We heard them, right? So why your prophet allow it? If it's important to know who is the father. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes uh, funny things happen to me you will see me sitting in my car in the traffic light and suddenly I go like I explode with laughing and people they are around me they are looking what's wrong with this guy why he's laughing even if he don't have a Bluetooth in his ears <laughs> because sometimes I remember a moment of something a conversation happened between me and the Muslim <laughs> and yes Muhammad he was born four years after his father if you have my books, you can see all the reference and we can show it right here, right now. But remember, remember, just to show you how silly Muhammad is. Uh, Muhammad, he said that if a, if a man, he want to have sex with his wife, he have to say certain prayer.
otherwise shaitan he is going to have sex with your wife let us see let me let me try to find the reference in English not in Arabic <laughs> okay all right <clears throat> um hmm Let us see. I'm just trying to find the link in English so we can read together how the Muslims explain how shaitan will wrap himself around your penis if you don't pray before you have intercourse. If any of you have the link for it, for it in English, uh, let me know but anyway uh, I show it I show it on the screen before <clears throat> in this website we can find only a hadith but there's no details so before you have sex you have to say this prayer otherwise shaitan is going to round himself around the penis of the man and he will be doing the, the the women with the husband and based on this story muhammad is just made a fun a fool of himself because his parents they are not muslims that's mean when his father and his mother regardless who they are we do not know really who is the father of muhammad but regardless of who they are when they had sex obviously the one who was doing the mother of muhammad was shaitan because muhammad saying if you don't say this prayer Shaitan will be doing your mother, your wife. How in the world those people, they even have, what kind of cult this cult is? Let's see. And not only by the, not only that, by the way, uh, there is tons of Muslim website. Like if you go right now in Google, and you ask a question, can a person have? Uh, can a genie? Can Shaitan have sex with my wife? According to Muslims, all of them they agree that yes he can assalamu alaikum i am married for 24 years my marriage has not been one that i can be happy with about many argument etc blah 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 and then he says i have noticed that she would his wife be sexually aroused which have not seen before in her sleep and when I wake her up she is angry with me I need your help since my marriage is uh, a heading uh, for divorce answer assalamu alaikum brother <laughs> guys is the text clear can you can you read the text or it's not uh, is not uh, is the text clear or not Can you read it? 
Okay. She is right in the sense that sexual dream, like nightmares, are dream, illusion, etc. Hulm from shaitan only from the sense of etc. Not in the sense that shaitan affects something of someone. And then he says, I advise you, brother, to recite your recite uh, wadud wadud 100 times. If you say wadud 100 times, okay, what that will happen? The only uh, daily to uh, in, in the intention of renewing love. If you say wadud 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 100 times, your wife she will love you. Okay. And uh, ransom the couple, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And let, let's see here. Okay. Now, the truth is that it is possible for a human being, engine, to have intercourse. And at Talabi mentioned in his tafsir that uh, the meaning of and be or oh, iblis, a partner of their human being, wealth and children. Chapter 17, verse number 64. At Turmudi, he said, etc. Narrated and Mujahid said, when a man has intercourse with his wife and he does not name Allah, the jinn, the jinn, the shaitan, he coils, uh, he coils him around his uh, yurta. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. You know, like his, his, his penis. And has intercourse with his wife. Guys, I mean, look what's happening here. All of you Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists, when you have sex with your wife, shaitan is, is, a, is a candom. You don't see him, but he's there. He wrapped himself as a candom around your penis, and now he is doing bang, bang to your wife. And you are asking me why I'm still not married? Hello? I mean, do you want that to happen to you? Threesome? Threesome? And who is the number three? Mr. Shaitan. And the funny, there's a Muslim in the text saying to me, he's lying. Have you ever seen, I mean, I show it in their website, in their screen, and I am lying. And they are given even the reference in the front of you. This is your Islamic reference. And this is your Muslim website. A sheikh.com. Ask a sheikh. Ask a sheikh, brother. <laughs> and I'm lying. <laughs> so look, brother, what happened here, brother. So the shaitan, he will round himself around your penis and he will do intercourse along with him. It looked like you both of you will have orgasm together. I mean, how shaitan he have to match himself? Like, what, what if the man have orgasm and he stop? So he have to finish it before you finish it. Otherwise, we have a problem here. Mm -hmm. And that is the mean of, of of saying, "Most high, whom neither a man nor genie has had sex with them, not touched them, have intercourse with them, or broke their their hemen, the 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 skin inside the vagina." This is in the Quran, chapter 56, verse number 50, uh, uh, chapter 55, verse number 56. And actually, you see this verse right away in the, in the cover of my book. If you go read my book, Six and Allah, you will see that the same verse I use there. So the Muslims, it is a satanic cult full of fictions, stupidity, madness. It's a cult. Whatever you, you know, the cult is made of collection of fantasies and uh, superstitions and lies and even kids cannot believe in such a garbage so muhammad now he told them if you don't say this prayer shaitan is going to do boom boom bang bang with your wife and i can explain why muhammad he keeps saying those things muhammad always he used the terror method terrorism in war or terrorism in ideas so you will see Muhammad as an example saying, if you enter the bathroom and you don't say a certain prayer, shaitan will enter and he will play with your anus. So now a Muslim, he is afraid to enter the bathroom without saying a prayer. You have to say a prayer before you have it, of course. You have to say a prayer before you eat. You have to eat with the right hand, otherwise shaitan will eat with you. 
you have to put your hand on your mouth if you do sneeze or if you do yawning sorry because shaitan he will jump inside your mouth you cannot sleep in your back in, in, in your in your in your stomach because if you sleep in your stomach shaitan will do you from behind so now the muslim all day he is afraid he's terrified shaitan is going to if him shaitan will if his wife shaitan even will, is going to is going to have sex with his belly bomb shaitan will jump in his mouth Shaitan will, will, will laugh at him. Shaitan will piss in his ears. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Look at this. Shaitan, he pisses in the ears of the Muslims. Why a Muslim he have to clean his nose? Anyone knows? Why have a Muslim he have to clean his nose? He do like uh, uh, do ablution. He have to blow three times with water, which is really disgusting. Imagine you put water in your nose. Because shaitan, he sleep in your nose. Let us see. Where we can find. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at here. Look at this one. You hear related from etc. from etc. that the messengers are etc. He said, uh, Shaitan ties three knots at the back of your head when you sleep. <laughs> Guys, this is a true. I every day I woke up in the morning and I find the three knots behind my head. Three knots. The shaitan, he tie three knots in the back of your head every night you sleep. Okay. So, okay, what will happen then? At the back of your head when you sleep, then he seal the place of each knot with you with you have long night ahead so sleep if you wake up and remember Allah and not untied if you do wudu a knot is untied if you do pray a knot is untied <laughs> oh boy I love it I cannot hold myself from converting to Islam uh, <clears throat> Let us see. I'm trying to find you the hadith. Okay. <clears throat> Where shaitan he sleep? I'm looking now where shaitan he sleep. Shaitan he sleep in your nose. Somehow he like it. And by the way, this is a proven to be scientifically true. Actually, when I was a kid once, uh, my mom, she entered the bedroom and she noticed that there's two feet coming from my nose. Shaitan, he sleep in my nose. He piss in my ears. He laugh inside my mouth. He play with my belly bomb. 
and he if the Muslim if he sleep in his belly and he share the wife if they are doing bugu bugu what is left this is Islam are we making things up this is Sahir Bukhari this is what this is Sahir Bukhari I mean the shaitan he can sleep in five stars hotel how small the shaitan is how shaitan is having sex with the man wife yet he can sleep in my nose I mean don't you see that there's something stupid here how shaitan he can rub himself around the penis of the man and doing the women and yet shaitan he can sleep in your nose and you, you don't even feel him if a little fly or a mosquito enter your nose, you will go crazy. Shaitan sleep inside and you have no idea he's there. How small he is. There is a video on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if you guys, you saw it. <clears throat> it's just for a laugh. Let me try to find it. There's a video here. I don't know if you guys you ever saw this video. Let me show you in the screen. You can search the title. Make Shaitan fart. I wish I can play this video for you. You will die literally laughing. The, sh the Sheikh here he explained how when you enter the bathroom because you don't say a prayer, Shaitan he go and play with your bows, which means he enter your anus and he block it. And you think you will stay in the bathroom like for five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, but oh, you go like 30 minutes and you are not done. And it's very painful. Why? Because Shaitan is inside your bowels and he is playing there. The religion of terror, he want to terrify you, make you believe that you are under attack in every second. Your anus is under attack, your penis under attack, your, the, your wife's vagina is under attack, your nose under attack. So you will be worried all day. You will not ask Muhammad a serious question. The whole point is how we can keep you silly, stupid. So you will not question serious questions. Actually, uh, somebody sent me uh, a picture here. Interesting. Let me share it with you. It's very truthful. I take a snapshot of it. Okay. Look at this picture. Let us share with you. This is exactly what Muhammad is saying to you, Muslims. <clears throat> now, you might think we are making fun of you. Well, your prophet making fun of you, not us. It is not me who said this. It's not me who come with this. It's your prophet who said, and he told you that. Shaitan is sleeping in your nose. Hello? And now Shaitan, he go inside the nose and he is doing this. <laughs> He's resting, having, having his beer with him. <laughs> I mean, this guy who made this drawing is something, huh? So now Shaitan is inside your mouth, inside your nose, and the moon or whatever is outside, and he is like taking a nap, or maybe even daytime. 
this is a this is a religion and this is a prophet and you believe this guy you Muslims believe this guy that he is a prophet of God I am truly truly convinced that Muhammad is a prophet of God I have to admit I mean who can who can deny this look at it. I mean this is wisdom and this is true must be true I thought shaitan he will go and sleep like in Las Vegas his trapeze club you know my nose my poor nose the poor shaitan he could not find a place to sleep in except a nose a nose and not only a nose a nose of the Muslim you have to be careful here the conspiracy a Muslim always he believe he is under conspiracy he is under attack shaitan sleep in his nose play with his ass play with his penis round himself around his penis doing his wife pissing in his ears and not only that Muhammad he go even farther and he explained to us what Allah he like for hobbies as an example what is the hobby of Allah everybody have a hobby Allah have a hobby which is he enjoy watching a sneezing show some people watch dr. Phil which is a silly program or a stupid opera Allah he enjoy watching a sneezing show look what Muhammad he said the message of Allah S A W S M F M radio station said the sneeze is from Allah huh the sneeze is from Allah that is something I thought it's from cold or something so sneeze is something good we sneeze it's from Allah mashallah I am really really very close to convert so sneezing is from Allah take a note and yawn is from shaitan what in the heck yawning is from shaitan oh boy <sighs> shaitan 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 so when of you guys take a note please this is very serious you see when trump he was make meeting with this guy from korea the balloon guy king kong king kong young they were talking about how we can stop shaitan from getting inside our mouth when we do yawning because the conversation was long and very boring <laughs> Trump he want to walk away son yeah I need to go to the hotel which means I can all get lost so now shaitan is the one who caused you to have yawning actually it is from him and this is converted by the uh, by brother if we call Zach and Nick and we ask him about this what you will say? Uh, brother, uh, great imprint, great imprint. I told you, I told you, don't call me. I told you, if you have a question, call Abbas. Abbas, he can answer you, he can refute you, and he can get you butted. Uh, but Abbas have no idea, and now he's snoring, so we have nobody except you, brother. Okay, what is the question? Uh, the prophet said that shaitan that yawning is from shaitan and when you do yawn shaitan he jump inside your mouth and he laugh at you is that true absolutely true and I can do now a presentation for you but I don't feel sleepy if I am sleeping now and I feel like I want to sleep what do you do um, you do yawning absolutely so yawning is true and proven uh, yeah we know everybody do yawn but is it true that shaitan he jump inside your mouth and he laugh at you I will give an example when you do yawning first of all you are asleep and that means shaitan he can take over you so he didn't full control and now he's so happy and so excited why he's so happy and excited because now you are going to have as an example sexual dream your wife is ugly and now it's your opportunity to think about a woman she is very very beautiful so satan now is very excited and that's why he dumped in your mouth and he's dancing uh dr zakanak have you ever seen shaitan 
inside the mouth of a Muslim dancing? Absolutely. Actually, I did record him with my slow motion cell phone. You did record the shaitan dancing inside the mouth of a Muslim with a slow motion cell phone? Absolutely. Because simply, this is the truth and I can prove it. Okay, why you don't load the video on YouTube? Because it is haram. It's haram, brother. The Prophet said, Big Sir, it's haram. And we cannot, Big Sir, that's it on for you. Ah, because it's haram, you will not post the video. Ah, okay. Well, thank you, Zakir Naik, for your reference and for your confirmation. Thank you very much. I mean, when you do yawn in shaitan, he jump in your mouth. Read with me carefully. And when one of you yawns, let him cover his mouth. Actually, I saw an article about this. The Muslim made an article saying that the Prophet was teaching us how to prevent diseases. Liars. It's not about diseases. It's about shaitan will jump in your mouth. Read carefully with me. With his hand, for when he say, ah, ah, say what? Do you guys do you remember the guy who called me two days ago and he said to me, ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, shaitan love from inside his opening. Brother, this is very dangerous, brother. I mean, how in the world you people are not convinced until now that Muhammad is a true prophet of God? What's wrong with you? Once I open a chat room in Pal Talk program and I name the chat room, let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. <laughs> the Muslim they start calling me names. You coward, you liar, the pro you know they didn't know, they never heard this before. That Allah he loves sneezing. Allah he loves sneezing, not only sneezing from him. Read this hadith with me. Here we go. Allah loves sneezing but dislike yawning. If, 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 if. There, is, there is an opposition between uh, 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 yawning and Allah. You yawn, Allah is upset. You sneeze, Allah is happy. This is why according to scientific study by a scientist from Japan, his name, I, Yama I do lie, Yama, very well known scientist for Muslims. He is used in all articles. He said that the best month is in the year for Allah is January, February, March, where people, they have a lot of sneezing. So Allah, he loves sneezing. And he hate yawning. And you are telling me Islam is not from the true God. You people are sick. Truly you are sick. And you have mental issues. How in the world you don't believe in this? You have to believe in it. <coughs> Any Abdul? Maybe, maybe. Any Abdul want to do some sneezing? <laughs> I would like to make Allah happy, man. We will open a sneezing show. All Muslims from around the world, they can uh, join us in the program. And they can sneeze as much. And by the way, we have, we you know, why Muslims we don't be caught uh, flu medicine? I mean, how in the world Islamic countries even allowing medicine for flu? As long as sneezing is from Allah, that's meaning flu is from Allah. And he like it. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? Any person like to sneeze? Ali, Ali, he says you have a dirty mind. Look who is talking about dirty mind. A guy who believed that his God will give him endless penis. Talking about dirty mind. A guy who believed that Allah will give him an orgasm of 70 years. He's speaking about dirty mind. 
a guy who believed that in the heaven of Allah he can have sex with his mother, his sister, his daughter, and even any anything, even with men. He is talking about dirty mind. Read with me, Mr. Dirty Mind. The Prophet said, Indeed, indeed in paradise, there is a market. And this market, there is nothing. There is no buying nor selling except for images of men and women. who." So whenever a man he desire an image, he enter it. Ooh, homo homo. We are home. If you are a person who like to have sex with the man, you are home. In the heaven of Allah, you got all what you want. The images are images of men and women, but the customers are men. Liar, Christian Prince, liar. A brother, if we call Zach and Nick, what he will say now. Brother Sitter, the prophet said that in the heaven it's going to be free and open, but you have to take into consideration that in the market in the heaven where you have to pay. It's not for free. Execute me. You have to take with me your credit card. And in this market, there's nothing to buy except images. Yes, brother, there you have a question. What is your question? Hey, brother, there are questions. Uh, I mean, the question is, uh, there are images of what, brother? This is a good question. Thank you very much. The brother did ask a question. Those images are images of what? Those are images and a beautiful mixture of a beautiful men and beautiful women. As an example. The women, she will have big breath. As the Quran confirmed in chapter 13, verse 18, it said that they will have firm, big breath. And the men, brother, they will look like a brother, Prophet Dotif. Prophet Dotif, he was very handsome. Everybody liked to sleep with him. So, in the heaven, there's the market where there is images, you can have sex with it. And if you like an image, you have to pay first, and then you can go inside the image and you have sex with it. Uh, brother, is it expensive to have sex with those images? To be honest with you, I do not know anything about the price yet. We will find out, brother, when we go to heaven. Hello? There's a market where we buy and sell in heaven. There's, there's buying and selling. There's no buying nor selling except, which means you buy and sell. And what is the product? Images. And those images are very special, magical. You just jump inside the image, you have sex with it. What's wrong with you people? Don't you feel like you want to convert to Islam? Hello? Man, finally I will find a bunch of wives there. That's why I'm trying to save money as much as I can. You go to heaven, you start purchasing pictures. You back, you, you come back home and you have a truck full of images. In my case, I will buy images of women. Sorry, I don't like men, to be honest with you. And then I put them inside the house. And look about how fun it is. You see, if you have a normal wife, she will give you a headache, like buy me this, bring me that. I mean, come on. She is an image. She go back, she go to life only when you jump inside the image. You finish, you get out, that's it. You are back and she cannot do anything no more. She can't ask you for buying uh, jewelries, buying her address, taking her vacation. No, no, no. She is just an image. She cannot talk. She cannot complain. So you jump inside the image, brother, and you have sex with the image, brother. And brother, oh boy, brother, you should not think of him for a second to compare between those images 
in the earth and images in heaven as an example the prophet he promised that the Muslim women she will have an ass of one mile side let me see if I can find it in Arabic in English here which is not really big if you think about it I mean I cannot find it in the English one one mile one mile ass only why I mean what Allah let us find the hadith in Arabic even though we cannot find it in English what Allah will lose if he make it two mile let us give it another try maybe we can find it in different hadith <clears throat> No, we can't find that too. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Is that the one? No. No, that this is not the one. Um let us find it in Arabic as long as we cannot find it in uh Okay, hold on. Look like maybe we can find that in Ibn Kathir. Hmm. No. Anyway, the hadith here is in the front of me actually, as long as I could not find it. Uh... Okay, hold on. We should find it actually. I don't like to mention something without uh, showing the reference. You know, the Muslim, they would say his line, you know. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see. Mm. Anyway, the reference in Arabic in front of me actually, but it looked like I have no choice but to show it, otherwise, we have to look. Summa in it's mentioned here, okay, it says, وَإِنَّ الْوَاحِدَ مِنْهَا لِيَأْخُذُ مَقْعَدَهَا قَدْرُ مِيلٍ مِنْ الْأَرْضِ Each one of them, her ass will take a space of one mile in the ground. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I was worried that my wife in heaven she will not have the good size as ass, which is very important. And now I'm thinking actually to open a manure business. Seventy-two women, seventy-two ass. Each one of them, her ass is one mile. Can you imagine how much manure we can generate every day? The funny, you see the reference in front of me, but I cannot find it in the English one. It says Rawahu here. Uh, this is this hadith number what here? Uh, and the reference. This is the book of Al Buhur al Zakhira fi Ulum al Akhira, page number 154. And uh, supposedly the hadith should appear in a Turmudi. As you see, the numbers there. 
and Ahmed and Al Haythami, but I cannot find it in English, as you see. Do we have any Muslim? Guys, did we have a good time? And, you know, I cannot stay long, really, because this always when I read this story about my wife, she would be, she would have one mile ass. It's like my dream come to be true. Now I do not need bodyguards. Any terrorist, they want to attack me, I will turn the ass of my wife and they will order her to fart and I will light, I, I will have like a, the one for barbecue, you know, I will light the fire and you know that farting is inflammable, do you know that, right? I will burn them alive. It's a mass destruction weapon. One mile, one mile ass farting. Can you imagine what can happen? It's like a hurricane. So you have to think about this as in, in, in a positive way. And please be aware that if your wife should decide to spoil herself and jump in the top of you, you are a history. One mile ass. Nice to meet you. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe if you like our channel. And don't forget, please, to download our videos as soon as we finish. I don't keep my videos here for long. There's many, uh, many channels. If you are in the in the chat, those who post my videos, uh, give one. Uh, there's many channels. They copy my videos and they repost them there again. So you can watch it and you can download it and subscribe to their channels too. All right? So feel free to download my videos, translate into any topic, any language you want. Um, I don't really, uh, I don't make those videos for me. And that's why actually I don't keep them. And I take them off just because I want to be sure that Christians are really posting them all over. And then we will have a guarantee existence for those videos for a long time to come. And always copy the videos and back them up in like if you have a hard drive, if you have G Drive, whatever, you know, free accounts. There's many uh, companies that give you up to like 100 uh, gigabyte uh, free memory online. You can save them there just a backup in case they delete your video or something happen. All right. Do you do Arabic videos? No, I don't do Arabic videos. Because if I do an Arabic videos, the Muslims will go crazy. There's a there's a Christian uh, chat room I used to go to in Arabic. And the Christian there, they asked me not to come. They told me, the second they see you, the Muslims, they leave. Because in Arabic, I am like 100 times more powerful than in, in English. You know, English is not my first language. And you can tell, you know, there's a limitation. So in Arabic, I'm like way different from English. And you can tell the difference, you know. Hey, Ali, how are you? Ali is talking about coward. <laughs> Ali is talking about coward. Ali, do muta and call me tomorrow. Why you don't take my call? You are you are you calling me, Ali? Okay, hold on, guys, hold on. I I thought we are done. Look like Ali is calling me. Ali, you are calling me. What do you want, Ali? Be careful. I will take you back to the muta, and then you will be in trouble, brother. So, do you want me to call you, Ali? Do you want me to call you? Okay, Ali, I will call you. <coughs> Why don't answer? See Ali, I called you before, and I call you now, and you are not answering. But I will keep you uh, giving ring forever, brother Ali. Your prophet is the master of muta, and he himself he did muta, and the caliphate they did muta, and muta is in the Quran, not only in the Hadith. So stop fooling yourself, Ali. I feel sorry for you. Yes, Ali. Yes, sir. Why don't why are you such a cheap and dirty man? 
Why are you talking about uh, Zakir Naik when he's not here? You cannot even qualify to clean his shoes and you are mocking him like this? Hmm. You're so cheap and dirty, okay, man. Let us talk about cheap what and dirty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it no, 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 is no, it no, no, stop. no, 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 this no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 When you mention something, I will stop you. We have to talk about, I will call you back. Is it true that your prophet, he cleaned his bum, he cleaned his penis, and he dry his hands on the wall, cheap and dirty? I will call you back, and I want an answer. When you mention something to Christian prince, everything you say to him is going to be used against you in the court of law, which is the court of a Christian prince. So the question is, don't tell me you did not hear me. Is it true that your prophet he clean his sexual organs and he dry his hands on the wall? I'm calling you. Answer. Hello. <laughs> Why do you want to answer? You want to talk about cheap and dirty? A prophet of God. You see, if I go to the bedroom of the prophet, I will find what in the wall? I will find a big soul art. Call me coward. Let us see who is the cheap and dirty. He dry his hands on the wall. Call me potato. Anything you say to Christian Prince is going to be used against you. Be careful. I am Christian Prince. I know what you know not. Liar, call me back. Call me. Why do you want to talk about it? Guys, did he call me cheap and dirty? Let us talk about cheap and dirty. You Muslims, you talk about me in my back. You're a prophet, talk about Jesus in his back, 600 years after Jesus. Now let us talk about cheap and dirty. The man who cleaned his ass with the three rocks. The man who dry his hand in the wall of his bedroom. Cheap and dirty. Call me. Do you have the courage? And the one who will not show reference is a coward. Do we agree, guys? The one who does not show reference of what he claimed, he is a liar, not only a coward. Show me. Silence me. Call me. Hello? No, call me. Why do you don't want to call me no more? Yes, I will show the hadith in Arabic. I will show it in English. I will show it in Arabic. And I will translate it to you in Chinese. Let me translate. Uh, which is mean, the prophet was touching his organs and drying his hands on the wall. I hope you like my Chinese. Call me. Coward? Why do you want to call? Hello? Hello, it's me you're looking for. You have no idea you are talking to who. You say to me three words, I will get you a story, will make you ashamed of your cult. I am a Christian prince, the Wakabidia of what? Waka, Muslim, they make fun of me. Do you know Christian prince? He say Wakabidia? Yes, because I walk with it, not Wikipedia. Walk. I'm a walking, talking library of Islam. All your garbage is here. Hello? Ali, why you don't want to call me? What happened? Brother Sitter, when the prophet, he have sexual intercourse, and he's going to clean his penis, and the prophet, he have a habit. After he do that, he dry his hand in the wall. And this is a proof that this is very healthy. First of all, you do not need to pay for pain for the wall because you can imagine all the color in the wall. And now I wish I can get the wall with the prophet you to dry his hand there. And you can imagine how much we can threaten eBay in oxen. Call me. Hello? Look at the cover, Ali. He will not dare to call anymore. 
Betete betete beteto, betete betete beteto, betete betete beteto, betete betete beteto. Teren teren tetrin, teren teren teren, teren teren teren, Abdul, you have no idea you are talking to her. You have no idea. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, guys, I have to go. Really, I I got to do some shopping. My fridge is out of. I have no food left, and uh, <clears throat> uh, Jibril did not bring me any pizza. And you know, we are not like Muslims. Allah He sent food for Muslims just by praying to Allah. There's a guy if you remember him, and now he left Islam. He used to call himself convert to Islam and now he called himself don't convert to Islam. His name is a brother Ishmael. <laughs> I don't know for some reason when somebody convert to Islam, he turned into a fool. But thanks to God, now he repent and he is back to his mind and he now he is fighting Islam. He made a video a long time ago saying uh he wanna like you know, he's trying to convert con to convert people to Islam, and he come with the story uh, as the following. We Muslims, monster, mate. come on, I, I'm talking right now. You're stupid, really. I mean, what's wrong with you? When I ask you to call me, you don't call. What a donkey. So he made a story. And he said, each time I go to the grocery store, as an example, example, this medical is Allah, he did. As an example, each time I go to the grocery store, and then I go to the cashier machine, and then suddenly I remember I forgot my wallet. And the bill I have to pay, as an example, seven dollars and eleven cents. And then I say, Allah, Allah, Allah. And then I put my hand in my pocket and I found exactly the exact amount of seven dollars eleven cents. <laughs> so, guys, uh, now I'm going to go to the store, I will not take my wallet with me. When I arrive to the cashier, I will say Allah, 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 and he will put exactly the amount I need to pay my bill. Please, brothers and sisters, don't take your wallet with you when you go to shopping. Before you arrive to the cashier, say Allah, 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 put your hand in your pocket, and you will find the money there. And now you can imagine what the women, they do with this advice. They will go and buy all the the very expensive stupid bags in the shop <laughs> and <laughs> brother brother people are dying in somalia people are dying everywhere what about what about the refugee they are desperately they are muslims they are saying allah every day to, 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 all day long and allah is not sending food it's european union sending food it is the american sending food it is the canadian the australian not even the muslims allah 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 Allah, how are you? Everybody waiting for you. Allah Allah, come over here. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Allah Allah, how are you? Allah Allah, shame. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, I will try tomorrow to come on air. What do you think, guys? Should we come tomorrow on air? Shall we? Yes or no? You tell me. Now, I will check this video. Let's do this. I will see this video, download it, and post it by how many of you? If we have at least five people download it and post it, I will be on air tomorrow. Kabich, just five. At least. Five people download this video and paste it in their channels. And I will be live on air again tomorrow, and we will enjoy our time. And we are here not to make fun of the Muslims, by the way, but Islam is a stupid, what we can say. I feel sorry for them, 
and we are here to save them from such a stup stupid cult those people they think they have God they think they have religion they think they have a prophet but the fact they have an imposter a person who is making fun of them he have no ethic he have no dignity he have no truth and he is a liar Shaitan does not sleep in your nose and you don't piss in your ears and you don't have sex with your wife and this is all is a stupid lies and Shaitan don't go inside your anus you have to be mentally ill to believe in such a garbage and if your prophet is not mentally ill you tell me what make him mentally ill then so everybody thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you tomorrow almost the same time Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again take care and see you bye bye